If you don't know why I'm doing this, you'll see in just a moment. I want to um, make four of them and uh, unite them together um, to, to form my ring. So now I'm going to do a sketch on this face here, like that. And this sketch is going to consist of a line that looks like this. Okay. And it's going to consist of uh, a line that looks like this, an arc that looks like this, a line that looks like this, like that, and, comes, and some constraints. So the constraints are, I want the circle center to be coincident with these two little line segments. I want these two little points to be on the same uh, horizontal height. I want a perpendicularity between these two like that. I want a midpoint between uh, this one and this one. If you don't know why I'm doing this, you'll see in just a moment. I want some tangency between there and there. Good. I want the length of this line to be always the same length that I measured from edge to edge. And so I measured that and I called it length. So I could type in LE and it finds that for me. It's a measurement dimension. Awesome. And I also want um, for reasons that will become obvious in a moment, this chord length to also be LE or length. So I'm going to insert a dimension and that's a perimeter dimension. The perimeter dimension forces uh, arcs to be the right chord length or even if you have an arc line, arc line or, you know, a bunch of entities. It doesn't work on splines. Um, okay, so now I want to put this line or I should say this point of this line right in the middle here. And I'm setting this up to do some global shaping. So I want this point to be in the middle of this and I want point on curve. I want that point to be on that curve there. Beautiful and fit. Let's see if everything is accomplished. Yep, that line goes all the way. No matter what I do to the pattern, um, that line's going to go all the way to where I want. And let's just test it out real quick. If I should change A, and I could do that by going to the, into the user expressions, and I make A smaller, everything should shrink, and it does. And if I make A larger, like uh, 6, then everything expands. That's the way I wanted it. 